good morning guys it's monday um so i actually have a test in my night class tonight and it's on everything like we've learned so far so i am going to make my bed and then uh gather up my laundry put on my workout clothes so i'm ready to go and then go downstairs and sit at our kitchen table and keep studying for that until Haven gets back and she's ready to go to the gym so insert my get ready little to stuff in the morning music type deal that I like to do. I still have to come back and study, but I'm gonna go to the gym really quick, do a quick gym sesh, back and buys, run a little bit, and then come back and shower and keep studying. So, this, today's little section of this vlog might be kind of boring, but I got a college, so. <clears throat> back from the gym. I'm about to shower as soon as I drink my shake, but I always go to the gym, well, when I go to the gym, without Haven. Something weird always happens. I usually get like hit on by somebody, which I mean, I'm flattered, but I just like really want to be left alone at the gym. And so I always just say, oh, I have a boyfriend. So I did that again today. And I'm just frustrated a little bit because I usually keep my head down, my earphones in, and I like really don't want to be bothered. And I don't have a boyfriend, but it usually works for me. So if you get hit on at the gym, just tell me you have a boyfriend. They usually just back off after that. Best advice I can give you. I'm very stressed about this test later. I'm gonna really need to shower. Good news, I'm back to where I was sitting, but I showered. I also have mascara like all down my face because I ran out of face wash and I ordered new ones. I said that in my last vlog, but I get my face wash from Tula because I saw it through Whitney Simmons' channel months ago and now I'm like never gonna use anything else because I think it's so good. But for my test tonight, we have to know the anatomy of the male and female reproductive system and the female is easy but I just really don't know anything about the male reproductive system so here I am trying to learn it see I just like <clears throat> just got this this is down sorry for the graphic pictures but like help help me alrighty taking a study break to make dinner and while I make dinner, I'm gonna watch my G Little's leg workout vlog. I linked her channel in my last vlog, but I can do it again because um, she has really good workout videos too. And also, I'm pretty sure she's getting her PT certification right now. I'm either gonna get mine this summer or next year. So I am getting mine, for sure, 100%. But I just um, don't know when I'm gonna do it because of like an internship and stuff. Sorry, that's probably an awful angle, but Here's my pasta, everyone knows I love it. And I'm about to go take this test. But I, I like, so far I'm feeling really good about it. So hopefully it goes well. And I've memorized like 188 terms from Quizlet and there's only 50 questions. So I'm hoping it's the ones that I know really well, but chances of that happening are like zero. But yeah, I'm so tired too. This morning when I woke up, I was in such like a deep sleep that I woke up and my head felt so heavy because I was like, whoa. I also slept in until 10, which is odd for me. I don't usually do that. So, but I mean, I was tired, so I needed it. So, okay, I'm gonna watch her vlog and make dinner. I just made like the world's largest meal on accident, but like, it's fine, I'm fine. Hello, it's me, about to go take my test, and then I'm gonna come back. So wish me luck, even though I would have already taken it by the time you see this. Um, yeah, okay, anyways. So I took my test and it went really well. Then I stopped vlogging after that because I was just go, go, go like all day today with studying and stuff. And I just 
needed a, a life break. So I took the life break. But I'm about to get in bed and probably fall asleep. I'm gonna turn on Girl Boss. It's like a show I've been watching. It's on Netflix. If you guys haven't heard of it, you should watch it. It's like a based on like almost true story of the girl who started Nasty Gal, the boutique, and it's really good, and I love the actress in it, so, um, she's one of my faves, so, yeah, I'm gonna watch that, and then I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's me, and the cat, and I'm about to go to class. My first class, I didn't have it this morning, so now I'm starting off going to my 11 a.m., Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna go to class and then I'll see you guys after for a nice leg day. I'm back from class. I'm exhausted. So good thing there's pre-workout in life. But my ribbon out for this package came. But I decided I'm gonna try it on tomorrow because I'm just so tired. I really need to get ready for the gym. There's my clothes right there. I just gotta put them on. And then I'm gonna go do legs. I'm exhausted. Okay. Got myself to change. Going for the all black vibes today. If you can tell. All black. All black. All black. It's my favorite. I'm actually overly excited to take pre workout right now because of like how tired I am. Also, my roommates need to clean But I'm just like so exhausted. So, yeah, and by the way, if you're wondering, I take Amped Nitro. It is a part of the Isogenics line. It's actually new, but it just looks like this, and it's, like, all natural. And it's just a lot stronger than the Amped Power, um, and has, like, more caffeine in it and stuff. So, um, yeah, all good caffeine, but, like, I'm going to take a little bit more than usual. But that might have been a lot. Oh, but just really wakes me up but the only thing that's like kind of weird about it is my hands it's really bad right before I start running and then once I start running it goes away so um oh, I forgot ice I always like putting ice in it for some reason but um yeah that's like the only thing that's like weird about it but once you get past the itchy part it's fine just need a couple ice cubes I like my life freezing cold I like the air conditioning freezing cold. I like my liquids freezing cold. It's just I really like it. When I'm sleeping at night, I have that tarot fan next to my bed, you guys know? Freezing cold. Okay guys, I'm at the gym and Carson just came up and said hey. And she's lost 40, 40 pounds since she started watching my vlogs. And I'm like so humbled and I'm so proud of you. And here's David, like she's here too. And her transformation picks were in Yeah, so you guys, if Carson can do it, anybody can do it. Just letting you know. <laughs> My hair is in a top bun thing, and my head looks huge, but we're gonna roll with it. Listen, Nasty. listen to what happened to us. So, naturally, we're both like, we're gonna shower really fast before we make dinner. So that's what we did, is we showered really fast. Midway through my shower, Haven starts screaming my name. So I instantly think that there's a cockroach running around the house, and I'm supposed to get out of the shower and kill it. And then she was like, my toilet's making this weird sound. Make the sound. Glug, 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 glug. It sounded, if you've ever plunged a toilet, it sounded just like that, but no one was plunging it. And then I had the toilet seat lid down because I put my phone on there and played music while I'm showering. And you could hear the water like splashing up and hitting the toilet seat. And I was like scared to open it. I thought it was gonna literally like explode everywhere. So she's like screaming my name. So I run downstairs. Meanwhile, I'm like, what the heck? My shower smells so weird. It smells like eggs. So my skin smells like eggs because it started smelling like that after I was already in the water. And then we found out that our septic, septum? septic tank, septic tank, teaching her new house vocabulary <laughs> is, um, overflowing so we're gonna fix that tomorrow it's also not completely it's not like it hasn't overflowed but it's like about to so mm -hmm. we need to not like do anything Jinx. well that was creepy <laughs> <laughs> we do that often um also i already made and ate dinner because i was starving and yeah we've had just like an anxiety-ish little second right there mm -hmm. really short but now we're watching the bachelor winter games so 
yeah, can I keep watching that? I just had to tell you guys what happened. And then it was just crazy. So yeah, college life. Right, getting ready for bed. Um, really quick. I just want to say that I'm like, I set a goal for myself this week and I'm saying it to the vlog so I do it. Um, not even for this week, just like for 2018 basically, that I'm gonna focus like for Instagram wise, this is like totally basic, but I'm gonna like focus more on like produce or putting up like really good pictures that like I link my outfits so you guys can like get outfit ideas and just kind of like turn my Instagram more into that rather than just like a college Instagram. Like I'm still gonna post pictures of like me and my friends in college and stuff like that, but also like include more like outfit pictures and link my outfits so you guys like get ideas of where to shop and like a bunch of stuff like that. I really wanna start doing that with my Instagram. And then at first I like didn't want to do it because then I thought people at school would be like like why is she doing that? I don't know. I honestly just like cared about like the way people would look at it. I don't even know how to explain the, what I'm feeling. But another goal of mine is to like, I feel like 70% of the time, I really don't care what people think. And I'm like, well, whatever. But there is like that 30% where in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, well, what are they? Like, what is this person going to think about? Or what is that person? But honestly, people who are negative about things you do are only going to hold you back in life and hold you back from what you want. And if I love something, then I should be able to post it on my social media account. Or if I like want to take it in a different direction, like it's my account. So I don't know why I would think to let somebody else's opinion of it stop me from posting something that I like want to post. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to make my life to where 100% of the time I'm doing me and I don't care what people think. Like vlogging in public for instance. Today there were so many people in the gym and I was like screw it because Carson, the girl that we met, her transformation was literally amazing and I was so proud of her so I was like I'm taking my camera out and I'm so glad I did I ran across the whole gym to go to my bag to get the camera because I didn't have my bag with me at the moment and yeah so I'm basically focusing on not caring what people think and just doing me and posting what I want to post and I think that that is really important and I don't know if you guys feel that way too but I'm gonna do it so you can do it too and if you want to start a YouTube channel Start a YouTube channel. Who cares what people think? Or if you want to start a fit Instagram, start one. I just put my fit Instagram on public and I had it on private because I was worried that people from school would find it and then I'd be really embarrassed. But I don't know why I'd be embarrassed because I'm literally just posting about things that I love. So that's my little rant and my goals. And I figured if somebody is feeling the same way that I'm feeling, maybe I can change your mind and convince you that you should be posting what you want to post because it's your account and if people don't support you then they're not good people in your life they're toxic and you don't need them in your life is how I feel so that's my little rant but expect really cute outfitty Instagram pictures and yeah that's how I'm feeling I'm very excited I'm feeling a bit like a just a super motivated person in 2018 and I'm just really excited and I just am content with where I am and my ability of being me and doing me alone so alone by I mean like not even with a guy like I am just killing it single and I really like it and also I don't want to be in a relationship because I'm about to go home and I'm gonna miss somebody all summer and that's just feelings that I don't want to feel so yeah now I'm just rambling I had a conversation with my mom about it today and Haven I just like sometimes like to talk and also, I said something very, like, just cool today. Haven was like, oh my god, you said that, like, that was so cool, and I don't remember what I said. I said, people are so critical about change and changes in their life, but change is the only consistent thing, or it changes, like, one of the most consistent things in your life, so why are you critical of, like, changes in your life when change literally happens all the time. It honestly isn't that cool, but we were just talking and then I said it and she was like, whoa, you're right. And I was like, yeah. And I said it in a totally different way, but you get the concept. So anyways, this is me ranting. I'm about to watch Girl Boss because it really motivates me. And then, oh, I need to tan too. That's another thing. Ignore this bed rant. I like just hate being alone. So I don't want to talk to you guys because everyone else is going to bed. Um, personally, I'm a tan person. I'm Colombian, you know, so I have like darker skin, but 
there's this point at my dark skin where I feel really pale. And I'm at that point right now because I hadn't self-tanned in a couple days. And so I'm going to re-self-tan again tonight because I was in the gym and I was like, damn, I look white for like me. So I just feel a lot more confident in my skin when I'm tan. So I need to self-tan and then I need to go buy more self-tanner so I can self-tan more before I leave for Arizona. Except the L'Oreal tanning sheets that I buy, I just buy them because they're cheap and easy, but I don't really recommend them because they kind of turn you orange. But I'm like kind of darker so I can hide the orange a little bit. But I really wanna buy Loving Tan or St. Tropez. I need to invest. I just, it takes a lot for me to decide to invest. But I think I might title this vlog Why You Shouldn't Care What People Think About You. Because you should be able to express yourself, in my opinion, no matter who you are, no matter what you like, no matter who you like, every person's a person, no matter big or small, or like some Dr. Seuss saying. So, yeah, that's just how I feel. Just inspirational. If you want something, the only thing that is stopping you from get it, getting it is yourself. Create your own reality. It's my tattoo. Peace and blessings for tonight. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Threw my hair back up on top of my head because that's how it's gonna be today until we go work out and I put the hat on. But I'm just about to weigh myself. I went down and made my shake, but I wanna weigh myself before I drink it, obviously. Um, but update on how much I weigh. I've literally been plateaued at 150 and 151. And every single day I'm either 150 or 151, which I don't really mind, like I'm just, kind of maintaining I guess right now um since I'm building like a lot a lot of muscle so I'm not really worried would I like to be in the 40s yes am I pushing to be in the 40s before Hawaii yes but that's not for months so if I can maintain this right now until I get out of college and then um like for the summer and then go home and like really grind then I'm gonna be okay with that actually I wouldn't mind being in the 40s by like the end of April so maybe that should be my goal because um, I only have two weeks before we leave for Maui in May to be home. Or I guess we're leaving for San Francisco. Yeah. So then that would be really illogical if I wanted to lose like 10 pounds in two weeks. That would never happen. So, okay, yeah, maybe I need to change up my goals. But that's just how I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to weigh myself and we're going to see. And also, my head hurts so bad from my old shoes and running on them for so long. And it's awful i'm trying on these shorts i'll have the shorts and the jeans that i bought linked down below but i wanted to show you guys them because i got them to wear um in like arizona um and hawaii like by the pool slash beach and pool in arizona so yeah here's what they look like the back of my leg does not look tan i tanned last night um but yeah these are just like plain old jean shorts really cute I'm trying to show you the back looks like that you see okay these fit so much better than my other ones there's like room but that's okay because you know I get food babies like it's nothing so I need the room but let me just pull these down okay something I read about these online is that they like rip really easily so I'm assuming they'll be more ripped than this but here's just what they look like there's also a rip on the booty so I'm gonna definitely be careful with that I'm both linked in the down bar but I'm about to change into my um, gym clothes Except I think Haven wants to tan so then maybe not I'm confused but I'm glad I changed sizes and they came before Arizona because I want to wear them there okay, so I'm wearing a bathing suit because Haven and I are about to go lay out outside my window and tan but um, I have all these bathing suits from Zaffle that I'm like never gonna wear. Um, cause honestly they're just not the best quality. <laughs> and uh, I mean they're like good quality for like a cheap thing. But ever since I bought those L Space things, I'm like into those. So I'm about to sell all of those. For, like the last two hours, I've been really crazy selling stuff. I saw people coming later to like buy some of the things. What the heck? The cat's being weird. So, um, I decided, um, a while ago, somebody asked me to do, a, or, like, actually a couple of people asked for me to do a how I edit my Instagram picture video. So, at the end of this vlog, I'm going to screen record and show you guys how I edit them because I completely forgot that you guys asked and now I feel bad because you guys asked. Do you see her? Crazy. 
but I feel bad because you guys asked and then I like was like yeah I'll do it and then I completely forgot so I just remembered today for some reason so now I'm gonna show you guys okay so I'm getting ready I don't remember if I told you guys or not or I'm not even getting ready I already got ready but um we have a philanthropy event today it's our like ziti dinner and we actually sold out which is really good but um it supports our philanthropy so yeah for my sorority anyways that's why I'm ready um, Lauren's actually going to get our shirts, so bless her. But I wanted to show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures because I want you to know because so many people asked and I can tell you. So here I am. I'm actually going to start my screen recording option. So hopefully this works. But, okay, I think it's going. So... I edit all my pictures in Visco and I use the same filter for everything so I'm gonna be using this picture of me and Haven as the um, picture I used to edit so anyways um, for the filter I always use M5 and I do the same exact edit like the way I edit this I edit every single picture this way which is how I get like the um, theme ish look so the first thing I do is I go to temperature and then I bring down the temperature a little bit and then I go over to contrast and I up the contrast and then I go to saturation and then I just up the saturation a little bit and then next I get the grain and get some grain in there because I really like grain I like it a lot and then um, I also go to highlight tint and then hit the blue one and then kind of bring it down a little bit it just makes it look more white so then that is how I edit it in um, Visco. I might up the contrast just like a little bit more. Maybe not. But yeah, that's basically what I do for all my pictures in Visco. And then um, always in the Instagram app is where I turn down the brightness of my pictures because I think it works a lot better there than it does like on Visco or anything because all you have is exposure. So then I save this to my camera roll and then also um, if you want to like put the little effects in the grain thingy or it's like dust or something sorry somebody keeps calling me on snapchat and it's like I don't know what's going on um, but that is an afterlight and so all you have to do I'm like selling all these bathing suits for people at my school sorry but all you have to do is go to afterlight and then click this and go to dust and I usually use like one or like nine or ten or not ten I mean eleven so like something like that and then also to get the streak that I do sometimes um, you do the same thing but you could do light leak and then it's four and then all you have to do is just kind of turn it down a little bit so that's how I do that but yeah that's basically all I do to edit my pictures um, so yeah, I don't need to save it because I've already posted it. But I always use Visco and I always use the M5 filter. So that is how I do it. That was really fast. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than that, but it didn't. Thank gosh. Um, so yeah, I really like that filter though. I like the theme that I'm going with. I'm just really excited to go to like Arizona so I can get some cool pics. And then this summer when my mom and I go to San Fran and Hawaii and Minnesota. So you guys can see my cousins in Taylor and Reagan, which are my cousins. I'm just excited for that. Now I'm rambling, waiting for my shirt. I should go eat a snack because I'm hungry. So I might go eat some carrots and hummus because that's my favorite. So, yeah. Anywho, here I am. I'll talk to you later. I am back from working the ZD dinner. I had to put my hair up because I was serving cannolis. I can't get these lines down. But, anyways, this is just what they look like. And then I have my tank top underneath but I just like tied it up it was cute so I'm gonna change into comfy clothes I have a lot to get done I still have to sell or give all those to all the people that commented to buy them on like this pirate girls buy trade sell thing at ECU that's how I sold them and then I'm gonna edit this video and try and upload it tonight but we'll see what happens okay quickly I'm gonna end the vlog so I can edit this one so I have to like time to get it up cuz I'm wanting to do that so I'm gonna do the question of the day I totally forgot to do this in my last vlog so I'm very sorry but the question of the day is from Tori and she said I'm starting to go to the gym and have been looking for some new workouts so where do I find different workouts when I go to the gym and how often do I switch up my workout so 
Um, I usually don't plan my workout before I get to the gym. I've gotten to the point where I just like get there and do what I'm feeling. Um, but I do get new ideas from um, Instagram. I just follow a bunch of fit workout girls and they post a lot of videos of their workouts and then I'll just save them to like my collections or um yeah basically if I'm just I like scroll through and then my collections and find ones that I've saved and then do them if I find something new um and then I don't do the same exact workout every single workout I do switch it up I might do the same exercise every week but um I just throw in different ones like I really like doing reverse lunges and curtsy squats on leg days and I tend to do those every single leg day I like the same with squats and I do hip thrusts a lot but um I mainly just get my workouts ideas or inspiration from a bunch of other fit um workout people or I'll just google like tricep workout because I hate doing chest and triceps and I think it's so boring I need to figure out a way to love it but um then I just get like ideas from google too so there's just a bunch of different resources to go through and um if you want to you could always just like write out what you want to do first um before you get to the gym like in your notes so you guys know like exactly what to do so yeah that is my advice i'm excited for this weekend or like my next video for starting tomorrow because um i'm gonna start packing for arizona this weekend and planning out my outfits and stuff so i'm gonna like show you guys how I plan everything out if I'm going on a trip and like what I do to pick my outfits and stuff and what I'm gonna bring so yeah that's gonna be next video but I'm just excited to film it so yeah I am gonna end this vlog though so I can start editing it and put it up for you guys tonight because I um, am not gonna have time to do this tomorrow so yeah I just have class all day and then I know I'm gonna be so tired and want to relax so that's that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one and make sure you comment questions for the next question of the day